this uh, new week we got um, a load from Houston to, um, to Florida then Florida to Georgia and then we dead up head up to uh, Tennessee and then we come back to Houston but um, we're just gonna pick up the load today I got my boys with me the other ones in the back and uh, playing with their tablets. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Are they really here? Yes. Yeah, you hear me, Robert? Yeah. But um, on the weekend, we installed some, um, s some trailer skirts. We got some uh, skirts from Utility and we got some, some Green Tech um, brackets. And we're hoping that, hoping that um, makes a big difference in fuel economy. But this is the first test. But after that, um, that air dam, man, we, we got at least like a mile, mile per gallon on average. Sometimes I'm empty, it's really good. Sometimes loaded, it's pretty, it's really good. And averages out to like around uh, seven miles per gallon. The dash shows more, but I know on IFTA before it was six miles per gallon, and this one on paper and using the app Let's Truck, it's um, seven miles per gallon. So, it's a lot better than it was. But I'm hoping if I get half a mile per gallon, so half a mile per gallon would be, I got 235 gallon tanks and then half of that for, for uh, full fill up. So man, today's market with these fuel prices, it's gonna make a huge, huge difference. But um, we're like, our pickup's like 30 minutes away. We're gonna pick that thing up and then um, Bring it back home. Should be um, should be four full days of work. So this, you know, today's Tuesday, day after the Fourth of July. So we're gonna we're gonna go pick it up, go home. Tomorrow's gonna be a full day. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, pick up the last load on Friday. And uh, come on, rookie. And um, be home by um, Saturday afternoon. Hoping, hoping like around four o'clock Saturday afternoon, and then uh, or earlier if we can, and then just reset the clock. And then it delivers. The bad thing is it delivers Monday at noon. But uh, not that big of a deal. We 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 we'll, we'll find something to work around that. Even if we have a pickup. If, if time allows, we'll pick it up and um, with the other trailer and, you know, just take the other one and then bring it back to the yard and swap it out, figure it out. But um, pretty good week, pretty decent, decent week in today's market with today's uh, fuel prices. Jojo! skirts they were and they were hard to come by because I I've been looking for a while and then um, been calling utility and the guy said no so he kept on saying no so I, I called last week and I asked 
they said no and I said you guys have any used ones and they said oh let me transfer you to sell so I, I, I told them I was like hey do you guys have any used ones and they were like yeah we got a pair and he's like why don't... and he asked me he's like yeah we got some and I, was like, and I, I went through the whole thing asked him how they looked and everything and he was like yeah they look alright he said I can let them go for 400 and he's like why don't you want to get new ones and I was like because you guys don't have any new ones I told him I just got off the phone with the other guy he transferred me to you and he's like hold on let me let me call let me call the manager so they they pull him up well the other guy he was looking for the skirts but as the full kit where these are the skirts even though they don't say utility I questioned that on I questioned them on that because they have ID tags the newer ones you see them on the road and these don't have ID tags and these are they feel like a different material they're like a little softer these look more like the green wing green wing skirts they have the lip on it and uh, they're like a little bit softer material I don't know if that's good or bad if it's gonna break or not or when it flexes or, or what but he, he assured me he said when we when we order them from the factory that's what they send and um, I'll show you guys right now when we when we get to the um, the shipper and we get checked in I'll, I'll go out there and I'll show you the, the wings but but so the guy he, he he was trying to pull it up as a kid the guy told him what numbers to put in the manager he was like put these numbers in and it was just a skirt and then the aftermarket kit for the um, the brackets well these brackets are pretty good and he was telling me he, was, he didn't say the name of them but I, I asked him about it after I didn't even look at the the name on the packaging I just I was just asking him about the skirts mainly and then I was like you know what about these brackets because they don't say green tech it's a different it's a different name the comp there's a different name for the the I guess it's the mother company I don't know or the, the, the main company and this is just like the product line but um, if you watch the videos of green wing on YouTube they do these tests with uh, forklifts and they roll it under the side of the skirt and they go over rail tracks and they flex they flex really good and he was like no oh, those are it those are those are they're aftermarket but he's like those are good aftermarket ones he says because when when um, guys come in and and you know they break the OEM ones the metal ones or no he said they're um, I think he said they're they're cast aluminum or something like that he said he recommends those and he said the guys like them a lot better and they're lighter too they're pretty light but looked everywhere and now we got them so hopefully we get we get better fuel economy because seven's good you know you keep, I just want to keep on jumping up until I could max this thing out maybe even wheel covers So when we get on the freeway, we'll see the roll test. The load going out there too, it's kind of like, we're gonna get good fuel economy no matter what because that load's only like 17,000 pounds. So, that's one thing. Ah, uh, rookie, keep on killing the gears. Guys, check check this out. That's how cheap I am. What's up, dude? Look, I made the necklace. Oh, 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 we can't show that on here. I don't know. If, I don't know if uh, YouTube's okay with that. Like, we can't play music and Let's play Minecraft. Oh, we can. I don't know. Maybe we can. I don't know. No. But um, got my boys with me. Where's Jojo? He's right there. Dude, got the AC going. Yeah. So we made it over here. And uh, the address that the Ray that was on the Raycon, it was wrong. I checked into the the neighbors, <clears throat> their neighbors, their old neighbors, and they're like, no, they've been gone for a while. And I checked in over here, and they said um, they've been out of there for a year. I don't know why C.H. Robinson doesn't, you know, why why they didn't update it or what happened, but 
But I asked the lady, I said, are we going to be uh, punished for being late? And I told her that I ran the situation across and uh, she was like, no. She said, I told her, I said, am I going to be punished because, uh, because I was late because it had the wrong address on the, the Raycon. And I told her, because I got my, my two boys with me and she didn't say anything. She just started looking through the paperwork and she was like, door 16. So she hooked it up. So we got we got a door and we're in there. But let me go outside and let me show you um, let me show you my skirts. While the boys they hang out in the nice cool AC. But uh, so I got my, my generator right there. I keep it in there. I used to have a fan, but the fan it kept on burning out, and I was like, man, it's just easier just to chain it to something and then. Maybe later I'm gonna do something with it, but I only really, really use it in the summer. Only a few months too. So, just black skirts. I had, um, you know how I have these metal brackets that came out? I just put it right on the thing. It sticks out a little bit, but I kind of like that because it makes the, um, the lights stand out more. But check this out, these brackets. So this thing is, it's, pretty nice it's, uh, fiberglass and um, just one solid piece and I, I went to utility and I picked it up put it on the back of the trailer then when I got to the yard I just you know just took it off of there but all you do is um, it just bites down on it there's like there's a bracket on top you see that just bolt it put a hole through there and it just bites right onto it and holds it there same thing you got some eight on each side four four yeah, eight on each side so two in the front and then we spaced them four beams all the way and then two in, in the um, or two in the rear and then space four beams for each one and then two in the very front but um i don't know if it's, it might be too soon to tell but man i got an eight so i'll get like 8.5 on the way over here and, you know it could be anything it could be the wind or but it's a good start good start but the only thing that I questioned him on, I was like, why doesn't it have any kind of like stamp saying utility? Like, you know, it doesn't have anything on there, but pretty good. It, uh, like 1375 out the door. And um, oh yeah, right there it has, right there, there's like little folds on top. I cut them, I had, I cut them. I have a neighbor where I parked and I looked at his and they cut his on top. So when you when you bend it, it has room to flex so it just doesn't just, just cut. So maybe I'll do that right there, but it looks all right. I don't really feel like crawling under there right now. I got to get a little dirty, and, but there's like little, little wrinkles on the top right here in that top lip. So this lip right here, over there, right around there, there's a little wrinkles. I'm not gonna be able to see it on a bigger screen, but that's all it is. It's just this stuff right here. And it, the videos, you guys watch the videos, man. They ran it over road tracks and those brackets really flex. They can flex, man. Almost almost uh, 90 degree like flex. And um, I think even more. I think I've seen one on, online. I think it was more than that. But pretty good. Just some brands like, see like this one right here across from me. His little dicky on metal brackets. So, and these are just straight. But mine, they, they go all the way and they, 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 they go from inside and they push that wind. I heard it's better. Cause you know how you see some designs where they kind of stuck in more and they're at this angle, but they're stuck in more and they angle to the, the end. I heard this is, when you do this is better when you make it flush with it. Cause it just blows right across and uh am i recording yes oh i thought i was wasting my time man i was like man it's recording it's, it says something exposure on the screen but um so i put the wheels all the way toward the front then put them on so that way you know when i especially when i'm deadheading i could tuck the wheels it's closer there, get as much arrow and make it as cheap as possible for deadhead. 
but the wheels will be right here at the 40 foot mark 41 so you know this one right here if you guys don't know the rear tire center of the axle has to be lined up so with uh, 40 foot going to california i think in illinois is like 41 but or, or maybe it's 40 foot too i i i haven't haven't don't really go with that over there for the most part where i run to the carolinas and back man you can stretch that thing all the way back for a 53 foot trailer louisiana mississippi texas georgia the carolinas you can stretch it all the way back for 53 foot trailers 57 um 53 53 and a half uh and 57 foot, foot trailers they're different I don't, I don't deal with them so i don't really know but i know I've, I've read them on there that there's little extra rules but no reason to memorize it anyways so if it's right here the center of that rear axle then we still we have a little bit of space but it's still going to go over it a lot better than it just the wind what happens is the wind hits that and it just makes a, a parachute and it just it just like there's just resistance right there and then the beams too that's why it's better to do that where you just make it like that because when you have it tucked in it still hits the beams and it gives a little bit of resistance but thinking about doing this the wheel covers arrow covers there's a few different different uh, brands but even right here i wanted to get some clear ones for this clear right here and they got ones for the front too but get out of this heat man. you guys all right yeah. nice and cool in here living a good life man just hanging out with dad yeah but i'm gonna pick up this load in um it's nine and a half hours to get to florida to the to um where i'm going i don't remember the name of the city it's like uh moranian or let me, let me let me pull it up so we got first load this load Houston to Marana, Florida. Then we pick up in Tallahassee, Florida, go to Ro Rome, Georgia. So we got some deadhead. Always deadhead, man. I, I, I try, you know, no deadheads, way better, but some some spots. But the rates are right. The rate right the rates right over there it's point it's alright. It's not that much deadhead. So guys, well that video came up short, so I don't know what happened. This camera just stopped recording, but we noticed uh, big improvements on the fuel economy. It's like a mile, mile and a half. I mean, I was getting 8.4 to Florida and um, deadheaded back, some stuff happened. You'll see in the next video what happened. But I was getting nine miles per gallon on the way back. For my truck, man, that's a big improvement. Because there was times even empty, I was seven, seven and a half on a good day, but nine miles per gallon. But um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just going to hang out. It's the weekend, and I'm just hanging out with the, the family today. So next week, though, we're going to be pretty busy. We got, um, I think we got six loads. We're going to regional. It's going to be another video. So you guys stay tuned. All right, guys. Guys, peace.